Hello and welcome to showmeacademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to export data directly from within a web page in Microsoft Internet Explorer into a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. What I'll do here, I'm starting off at the Google home page, just like a default web page, but I'm going to go in and find a page which has a good set of data which, been, which has been placed in a table format. Now, rather than try to explain that, I'll try to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to MLB.com, site for Major League Baseball. And Major League Baseball is a sport which is driven largely by stats. So I know I can go here and I can see a good example of some data which is presented in what, what would typically be considered like a traditional table-based format. So here you see what I'm talking about where we have a very traditional type of table. It looks very much like an Excel spreadsheet for that matter, where you have a list of columns across the top, a list of individuals down the left, and then using a matrix approach, you can find the individual and the column and figure out what their stat was for that particular column for the year. And all of this is placed into uh, a traditional table-based layout. If you're familiar with HTML and how to write that, then you'll recognize this as actually being a table as it's built in the HTML format. But even if you don't understand HTML, it's fairly simple to look at most websites and, find, and figure out whether or not the data is presented in this type of table-based format. The reason I say you want to look for a table-based format is because this data is going to do the best job of exporting directly into Excel. So now that I'm at this page and I have this very clean table here with this data, I might want to manipulate it further. Maybe I want to play with the values, add new values, run some calculations on those values, etc. And Microsoft Excel can be an excellent tool to do that. But it would obviously be very painful and time consuming for me to open up an Excel spreadsheet and try to copy over manually one cell at a time all the data from this page into Microsoft Excel. Luckily, we don't have to do anything nearly so painful. Internet Explorer comes with a very handy feature that's available on every page, and that is a right-click option here. So I'm going to right-click anywhere inside this table, and you'll see, let me do it a little higher so it's easier to see on the display, you'll see that I, a context menu comes up. And inside that context menu, one of the last options is Export to Microsoft Excel. So I'm going to click that. And it's actually going to open its own, uh, it's going to spawn a new instance of Microsoft Excel. And when we put that up on the screen, you'll see that it has gone through the data that we had on the web page. And it's done a pretty good job, for quite yeoman's work, of trying to translate all the columns, all the columns and the rows that we had here into their associated Excel spreadsheet columns and rows. We have the same data. Pedroia, Holiday, Matsui, etc., that we had on the web page. And we have all the same values going across, neatly sorted into different columns in Microsoft Excel. Now, having said that, it's not always perfect. You'll notice here that there's this empty row between each one, which so you might have to do some manipulating if you want it to look exactly the same way that it did on the website when you viewed it here. But the key part, part is that you've managed to very quickly and easily export all of this data into a fairly clean format right here in Microsoft Excel. Now let me just point out something else to you as well. When you're on the Internet in Internet Explorer, it will give you that export to Microsoft Excel option from almost any page that you're on. So for example, right here, I'm at the Google home page. You can see that there's there's no clear table of data like there is in the Major League Baseball stats page. And yet, when I right click here, I still have the option to export to Microsoft Excel. Having said that, I'm not telling you that the data, you'll see it's even having some problems because it's it doesn't know where I want to start the web query, where I want to end it. By default, I'm just going to click import. And it'll ask me where I want to put the data. I'll just say OK. And it will, in fact, export the data that you see here from the Google page into Excel. But as you might imagine, since the data in Google had really nothing to do with the spreadsheet, when you export it into Excel, it's rather hit or miss. You still have about Google, business solutions, advertising programs. You have the same text that you have there on the web page, but it doesn't format nearly so nice 
when you try to stick it into a spreadsheet because obviously the format of that web page does not lend itself very well to a spreadsheet design. But you can export any data, any web page that you want directly to an Excel spreadsheet. And of course, it's usually most meaningful when you take data from a clear table on the web and you export it directly into a spreadsheet like this. That concludes this tutorial, and thank you for using showmeacademy.com.